Friends, in this video of I Thought Wealth, I am going to talk on the topic taking stock of COVID investing. Post COVID, we virtually saw an investment revolution. Millions of people entered the stock market. They opened accounts so easily because of the digital enablement. People became liberated in the way they dealt with their savings. It was so easy to transact. You could apply in an IPO without signing a paper. All this opened up huge opportunities and created participation like never before. We have seen people take part in cryptocurrencies, in IPOs, borrow money and invest in stocks, all done digitally. We have also seen huge unprecedented participation of retail investors in option trading. People have taken to speculation like never before. Also, we have seen the surge of momentum investing enabled by technology like never before. I have not seen such manufactured technology enabled momentum ever anywhere in any market in the world. All this has happened legitimately in our country. The question is, has this led the investor to a better place? The answer is not ready. It is still work in progress. But there are some telltale signs. First, the losses incurred by investors who opened digital accounts and allowed people who are unregistered to manage those accounts through sharing of user ID and password is now rising. Investors are getting cleaned out in option trading. We are seeing people who made money during the first year of COVID now losing a good part of it, if not all of it. Numerous investors who entered the market during COVID and saw their portfolios rise are now seeing their portfolios even trade below what their original capital was. This means they have made subsequent choices which have led to more losses than their early choices made gains. We have also seen people believe that investing is too boring, it is a waste of time, it is better to do only speculation. We have a huge set of people who are in the business of educating people without a proper license or a accreditation to become full-time speculators in the stock market. These educational programs cost a bomb, but because these educators who are influencers show off their wealth or their so-called success alone, this lures a lot of people to believing that they could also become hugely successful. People are being made to part with a good part of their hard-earned savings to learn what they are made to believe is education. Now, most people have been inculcated a thought that making money is easy, speculation is the better path, investing should also be done with an element of speculation. Without speculation, there is no point investing. Momentum has to be an intrinsic part of investing and investing in boring parts of the market or looking at value is a waste of time. Now, in every market cycle, we have seen large number of people being fed on the wrong investment beliefs. At the end of the cycle, many of them leave the market and then 
new people come in in the next market cycle to meet the same fate but this time technology has played a hugely disruptive role in taking this wrong culture to more people and investor education has failed to stop this onward march naturally the consequences are still work in progress they will come with a lag but the disrespect for the investment culture that we see all around and the celebration of the manipulative and speculative culture that is being worshipped today is extremely scary if you are a material person or a market participant this will definitely distress you when you see what's going on because your heart thinks about the young investors the first time investors to stock market those who are coming in to fulfill their long term goals and actually have duties and responsibilities to perform down the road taking to all the wrong habits and learning all the wrong things practicing things that won't take them to a better place and gradually setting themselves up for permanent destruction of capital in that sense covid investing has a dark side which is still going to unravel and we are going to see that happen over the next few quarters because the times are getting tough it's becoming more and more difficult to do investing it's becoming doubly more difficult to speculate and those who are not investing and only speculating are going to face the heat far more than investors that in essence is what i think is the state of post covid investing and that's how i would take stock thank you for watching this video